What's up? This is your boy Brian Lavender coming back to you again to give you some more author insight. If you didn't check the last video out, go check it out. It is a must. It is really good. Also, today I wanted to give you a little inspiration on these words right here. Not good enough. These words were said to me way back in high school. I had uh, used to go on this website called scout.com and uh, they had this post that said who were the best athletes to come across the Mississippi Gulf Coast. My name came up and this guy wrote a paragraph about how not good I was, you know? And me being the person that I was, I went to Gulfport High. So he told me in the post, and I said me because I took it personally, probably shouldn't have, but that's the type of person that I am. I was at that time, excuse me, uh, but I, I looked at the post and I read it and he said I couldn't go to my rival high school which you all know if you're from the Mississippi area, Gulfport and Biloxi and Harris Central are our two rivals and he said I couldn't go play. He also said that I could not go play at Perk, also known as Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College. Um, at the time they were ranked in the top five I believe and won numerous um, national championships under the tutelage of Steve Campbell, who is the head coach at the University of South Alabama, go Jags. Anyway, um, yeah, so he said that and it really bothered me. So what I did was I, I printed it out. I wrote it down and at the time I had like five classes. Uh, so I put, it, I put the, each paper in each binder for each class. So I read it every day. And most people be like, why? Why would you do that? Well, I read it every day because it just reminded me of how people didn't think I was good enough. And I was, at that point in time, trying to prove them wrong when I should have been proving God right. Because God says that I am peculiar and, and of royalty. So I was not acting like that. I was actually kind of being petty. But, you know, as I grew older, um, I finally realized that God said I was good enough, so I had to rest in that. I had to rest in his word and, and rest that he would make everything better. But at the time, it, it, it just made me think about if I would have accepted those words that he said, I'm not good enough. I would not be this man. I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have went to the University of South Alabama. I would have rested in not being good enough. So everybody out there that says that they're that you're not good enough don't even worry about that because god said that you were good enough so you're good enough if god didn't want you to be good enough he wouldn't have made you but he made you so that means you're good enough because you're you're made in his likeness and his image and if god is all amazing then that means you're amazing too so go be great catch me again on author insights this is your boy brian lavender i'm gonna holla at you